Hey y'all, it's Liz. Hey, today we are going to be making chicken corn chowder. Um, I've already prepped everything and all I'm going to do after um, I throw it in my crock pot is let it sit for four hours on high and let it cook and then my dinner is done. So let me tell you what you're going to need to make this creamy, delicious chicken corn chowder. First thing you're going to need is six to eight pieces of um, chicken thighs, skinless and boneless, and I've ch cut those up into little chunks. You're going to need um, three cups of frozen corn. Here I use three medium to large russet potatoes that I peeled and chopped up, three sticks of uh, carrots that I've cut up, three stalks of celery that I've cut up. I used two medium onions that I diced. You're going to need two cups of milk, three cups of chicken broth, and one can of the um, fire roasted um, diced green chili. You're going to need an eight ounce of cream cheese, three tablespoons of butter, and then one tablespoon of sugar. Of course you're going to need salt and pepper to taste, um, but I'll do that after I put everything in and then I'll mix it all up. You're going to need your crock pot. So what we're going to do now is just throw everything into the crock pot and mix it up and get started cooking. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I went ahead and I sprayed the crock pot with cooking oil, cooking spray. I'm going to go ahead and dump in my chicken. I'm going to go ahead and put my potatoes in, my carrots, my celery, my onions. I'm going to go ahead and put in the um, green chili. I'm going to add my milk. My sugar. Then I'm going to add in my butter and my cream cheese. All right, let me measure out my um, chicken broth. Okay, so I went ahead and I added the three cups of chicken broth and the corn, and this is what it looks like once I've mixed it up, and now I'm going to put it in the crock pot oven and then I'm going to turn it on high for four hours and let it cook and then I'll be back to show you uh, the final step which is a half a cup of heavy whipped cream and two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed up. We're going to pour it in here and then we're going to let it cook for an additional 15 minutes to thicken up. Okay, so I'll be back in about four hours. Hey y'all, I'm back. Okay, so this has been cooking for about four and a half hours. And the next step is to take a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of cornstarch, mix that up thoroughly, and then pour that um, inside of here and mix it around and let it cook for an additional 10 to 15 minutes so it thickens up a little bit. But this is what it looks like once it's all done and um, I've had a bowl already, ha <laughs> ha and it was really, really good, uh, but I do have to say that I did not season this, um, but you will want to season it, you'll want to season it with salt and pepper, um, you know, before you actually start cooking it, and it gives it a really nice taste. All right, well, I hope you guys will enjoy this video. It's real easy. Just throw everything into the crock pot and let it cook for about four and a half hours on high. All right, bye.